I needed something that was more versatile. So this is the solution I figured out. Hey, travel lovers, welcome to A Wonderlust for Life. And in this video, I am going to show you what's in my camera bag, the 2021 edition. I do one every year because my gear evolves, my needs evolve, and also what's available evolves, right? So. If you are a fan of Peak Design, you probably realize that these are all Peak Design bags. I didn't actually notice that until I lined them up for the video, but I had started with this five liter sling. I love this thing. And if you wanna see how I stuffed way more than should have been able to go in this bag, into this bag, I'll leave the video down below. But this year I was thinking maybe for my running out the door kind of camera bag, I would upgrade to the six liter, which is this baby, um, because it actually has the straps on the bottom so you can carry around your tripod. And yeah, I have the Peak Design tripod too. <laughs> I just really like their quality and design. But if you are looking for the differences between the five liter and the six liter, which is the newest model, I'll leave the video down below because I did that as well. I still really like the five liter, but there's a really big reason that I don't think I'm gonna be using either of these anymore. My next bag after that was this. I think this is the Everyday Tote. And I actually really love this bag. I thought this was going to be the number one bag for me. And I think I have a video on this, so I'll also link that down below. All my camera videos, I'll link them for you. But this held everything. This was my go-to. This was basically my camera shelf because I don't have anywhere to put all my camera gear to keep it safe in the house. But what I found and the reason that I changed my system was when I fly, I have to carry this and that counts as one of my personal items or that is my personal item. And then I could carry one other bag, which ended up usually being this. This is a pack safe bag. This is the pack safe city safe. Is it the CX? I don't know, I'll leave all the information below and I'll link if you wanna purchase it. Um, this has been like my favorite bag to travel with because it's my, like under the seat on the plane bag. So it's where I have everything that I want on a short flight, a long flight, um, anything that I need to keep with me. So my laptop, my passport, my Kindle, neck uh, pillow, things like that. It all goes in here and I just think it's a really great size. The reason that it, it's even better than I thought was because it's a great day bag as well. It's a little big and I have a smaller version of this, but when you're traveling, you want kind of an all in one solution. You don't want to have to pack a little bag in your suitcase for when you get there, right? Because I guess what I kind of thought was I would use this tote to travel in and then I would have the day bag for when I go out and about. But realistically that just never happened and I was carrying this and it's kind of bulky and I just, as much as I love the bag, it didn't work for me. So, put those off to the side and I'm gonna tell you what my new solution is and I'm really excited about this because there is no one size fits all for everybody. And as much as I love the Peak Design bags and there are tons of camera bags out there specifically, or camera backpacks specifically for keeping your camera safe and dry, but ultimately they're camera bags and I needed something that was more versatile. So this is the solution I figured out. And for the quality and for the products, I think it was quite affordable. I can't remember the exact number, but I'll leave everything I don't remember either on the screen or in the description. So I get to keep using this bag. And what I did was I have these babies. So this is the Peak Design Small Camera Cube. Not super cute, right? Like it's, it's, it's purely functional and I'll get into what's inside of this in a minute. This is the tech pouch. This was something that I was really curious about. I wasn't sure if the novelty of it was a little bit more than like the use, but I'm finding I really, really like this idea because it separates the gadgets from the must have camera items. Again, I'll show you in a second. And then this is the field pouch. This was the kind of, um, wild card that I had because I wasn't really sure how I would use this, but I like the idea it packs flat, right? And so I can throw this in the bag and what's happening is this is gonna be my day bag and I will 
show you exactly how I want to use it for that. So let's go into the camera bag first because this is the bread and butter and I will also show you how I pack this so that it's a very versatile system for traveling. So you can kind of just rip the top open. It doesn't rip as easy as they show on, the, on their videos, but it does rip open. And I have a great little spot right in the middle for my camera. What I was having a hard time with sling bags were that what I needed to carry with me, everything was just stuck in there too tight, especially the, having the plate on the bottom where it fits on the tripod. And then I have the, what do you call that, small rig on the top so I can clip on my microphone. Um, it just kept getting snagged on everything. In this cube, I have a perfect amount of space for it. And I keep my wind muff on top of it, like where the lens is, to keep it nice and snug. So that fits in one little pouch in there. So this is the smallest cube. It's six liters. And so it is the same size as this sling. But the design makes it more versatile for however you wanna use it. I will say I stuck a divider in here from one of the other bags so that I could make it exactly how I want, but you can buy separate dividers. So this comes with two dividers that fit absolutely perfectly in here, and I will be buying a third one to make it perfect for me. So what do I have in here? My camera and my muff, as you saw. And then on the side here, I have one of my lenses, and then on the other side, I have another one of my lenses. So camera, lenses on either side, absolutely perfect. This is the pouch that my microphone goes into. I just put it on top because it has a fold down area. And then the space that I made on this back side, I wanted to make sure I had things if I just needed to grab the bag and go, I had what I needed. So I have my camera strap. And if you're not familiar with the Peak Design system, it uses these anchor points for, um, basically being able to interchange straps for it. So I have a wrist strap and I use this if I'm just like out shooting and I just have my camera around my wrist. And then this is a neck strap and same thing. I use it for my camera, but also I use it if I want to carry my tripod and then my camera's in my hand, or you can use this and actually snap the fuel pouch on it which is really, really handy. But I'm gonna go into all of that a little bit later. In here, I have my Sony a6600. I have my Sigma 30mm 1.4 aperture lens. And then I have my zoom lens, which is my Sony 18 to 135, 3.5 to 5.6 aperture lens. And then on the back here, I have my tiny little Manfrotto tripod because I just want the option to always have a tripod if I need one and it fits in here just fine. And then it comes with this little pouch in the back. So it just sticks onto the Velcro. And in this pouch, I have a little hex key and this is used to get the plate on and off of the mount for the camera. I have this, it's a different kind of mount, but it goes on the tripod that will fit the Peak Design mount. So I always have that, extra battery, a lens pen, and an extra memory card. So that is all I have in this part of the bag. And that's all I need if I just need to go. And the cool thing is this also has places for anchor points. So if I did want to take this bag, I could um, get the straps for this, take my tripod. I can put the anchor points on here, right up here and I can put a strap on it and go. No, it's not super cute, but it does the job better than pretty much everything else. Now I wanna show you the tech pouch because this is where everything else is. And the reason I love the tech pouch so much is because it separates all the bits. <laughs> and with having the big bag, I literally had a section at the very bottom that had all the bits and it was just quite frustrating because I didn't, I was always digging under things to find them. It's full, it's not as full as it probably could be, but it has everything that I need. So I have charging cables for the camera, charging cables for the microphones, an ND filter. Uh, this little pouch, I bought this in Hong Kong because I did have a couple bits that I needed to keep. So this is just an adapter so I can um, put my Osmo pockets on a tripod and then a couple other little adapters for that as well. And yes, this fits right in a pocket on the side. It takes a little finagling to figure out how you want it. 
a tiny little tripod. So I would use this for the Osmo Pocket, potentially the um, GoPro. I have my backup mic. I use the Rode Wireless Go, but I also have the Rode Video Micro. I also have the phone version. Always have backup audio, that's just my philosophy. Another adapter for a tripod situation. The rest of the microphone. Uh, these are ND filters for the Osmo Pocket, but there's also space for more memory cards, which I will probably use one day. I have my light, which is absolutely perfect to travel with. And then I have my Osmo Pocket. Yeah, it fits in here. And so you always have an extra camera. And on my Osmo Pocket, I have this cage. It is Polar Pro. So I have a Polar Pro little cage mount system and a cover protector right here. And then I bought this separately. This is basically um, an anchor point that I purchased and put the Peak Design anchor point on it so that I can also use the wrist strap on this. And basically this cage has a, a point right here so you can put it on a tripod. And also this is like screwed into a point so you can use it in a different directions. So I can just set this up if I wanna do a time lapse or something. And then I wanna keep my camera and you just put it out like that and it's ready to go. I love being ready for every situation, but not having a ton of stuff. Some of my friends like to make fun of me for that, but I love that feeling. And all of that fits in there perfectly. And then all the bits are in one place and they're in an accordion style, so you can just see everything at once. And I just absolutely love it. So how do I pack this? So I take my bag, and so this bag, I think I've done a video on this, That'll be down below. But it has a place for my laptop, so I'll put that in. Okay, and then this will go in. Because it has pockets and stuff, it does take a little finagling, but it slides right in. It's just, it gets caught on stuff. So that fits in there perfectly. And then if I want to carry this with me, I can stick it in here as well. And then they both fit in there fine. And I can still carry other stuff with me, sweaters, snacks, water bottle, things like that. But most likely that's gonna go into my checked bag, which is another reason why it's so great that it can be separate. Obviously I would keep the batteries and anything that had to be kept on your carry-on inside uh, the camera bag, but everything else can go in the checked bag, which is great. So I love it. And that means that I have this bag with me as my day bag. I can take the camera cube separately if I want to. The options are endless. But let's talk about the field pouch. Okay, so you may have noticed that I have the capture clip from Peak Design on here, if you're familiar with the capture clip. So I put it on here, but it can also go on the backpack when I'm using that as my day pack. Versatile, again, that is the word of the video. But this bag, even though it packs flat, you can put the straps on. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, now I have a camera bag that can take uh, basically a lens or two, or a lens and the GoPro or something like that. But this is really just, if you just are grabbing your camera and going and you wanna take your extra battery and extra lens, a memory card, like that's really what this is for. But that's kind of all I wanted it for. And inside here, it expands and there's different pockets in here. There's a zipper compartment right here. So you can really put a couple different bits and bobs in there. But having this big part right in the middle I just, I don't know, this has been so nice to have these different options. Obviously that is what I tend to take with me everywhere, but some other things that I might have with me, well obviously the tripod, which the camera is on right now, um, the GoPro and a couple mounts. All right, if you like this video, if you wanna see more packing videos, just let me know down in the comments below. Is this something you think would help you? Are you surprised that I've gone from like proper camera bags to kind of throwing it in a backpack. I would just love to hear your thoughts. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want more travel videos, including Amsterdam and expat life videos, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.